Um, my name is Neville Ko. I'm a form four student at Mzumba Secondary School. And our group name is Silverline. And these are my fellows, my colleagues. Yeah, my name is Gudla Kebra Mbibila. I'm a form four student at Mzumba Secondary School. Uh, my name is Oseke Oluga, I'm a speaker. I'm a form two. Um, the title of our project is Controlling Electrical Appliances by Using a Simple Messaging System. Um, due to uh, increased electrical bills in uh, organizations, both, both private and um, private, private and governmental sectors, we have seen this system works by using um, simple messages, just take normal texting messages, whereby you resend um, a message through um, the devices that I'm going to explain here and then that message will be transformed into a command that will command the electrical appliance to either turn on or turn off. Um, this will help to solve the problem of increasing electrical bills because um, the cause of increasing electrical bills is improper use, usage of electricity. For instance, if you try to move around this school right now, you can find about 40% of the bulbs are on right now. Right now and no one is using them so there is usage of electricity um, um, uncontrollably and if you try to look what's the reason back behind maybe people are lazy to switch on to switch off the um, sockets to go every class switching off all the sockets moving all the corners of the school switching off all the sockets so this system will help to minimize that uh, disturbance of going through every socket and switching it off by using just your phone you'll just send a message and then that message will be turned into a command and turn all the bulbs and all any electrical appliance that you need to be turned off to be turned off so i'm going to explain um that system here by using that i've constructed here so i would like to request the phone <coughs> so we have the phone with um, a registered sim card um, of um, any ISP such as Vodacom, Harotel or Tigo and this is also a registered SIM card with any internet service provider such as Tigo, Airtel or Vodacom any is possible the function of this GSM here is to receive the messages from this phone so when I send a message from this phone it will be received by this GSM here and from this GSM the, the, the message will be transformed will be transmitted to the Arduino board this is the Arduino board and this Arduino board here has been um, coded with Arduino coding I have used the Arduino IDE here can do this to your laptop here this side so when you go into this Arduino IDE you'll find the code that I have created here um, it's for controlling electrical appliances, any electrical appliances such as bulbs or ACs, um, electrical fences, or anything that uses electricity. So you yourself. Yes, I created it. So by using this code, um, there are different uh, things that I've written in here that will help me to convert the messages that I sent from this phone here into a command that will make an electrical appliance to either turn on or turn off. So that's the function of this Arduino board. And this here is called a breadboard. And this is where I have made my circuit by using light emitting diodes. There is this red light emitting diode and this yellow light emitting diode. So I have named this D1, the yellow one, and the red one, I have named it D2. I'll be using light emitting diodes on the position of electrical appliances. So this breadboard, this function is just to help me to make a simple circuit that I will be involving those electrical appliances. In my case, I have used LEDs. So we are going to see this um, demonstration here. Um, okay. You have the number here. Yes. Okay, yeah, it, here it is, there is a, a SIM card. It is called a SIM card so placed inside yes. there. Mm -hmm. So you send, you are sending that SMS yes. to the number of to this SIM card, card, is it? Yes. Okay, so yes. go on. So I also turn D2 on. I will send a message. D2, D2 on. 
and then I will just wait for about just four seconds, four seconds. and four seconds. the two will be on right there. So to cut them out, what because if want to maybe we want to light on maybe uh, like this or four of them, they are just on. I will start that one off. So yeah. that means that that's why we use the samples. This is the this is the one and this third two. That's why we started lighting on this first, then this one. So you can decide which one to be on and which one to be off. For example, can you demonstrate it to him? Turn off, turn off the other one. About three to four seconds turns off. So, according to this, only all should I switch off all of them. So we can install this one in your house. Yes. Exactly. So you need to have also a laptop oh. um, the laptop here it will only help me to know um, if my my devices apart from these electrical appliances mm. I mean the GSM and the Arduino board if the function that's the function you if you connect someone if you connect this system to the house maybe yes. to my house yes. you know I don't need the laptop exactly so it means you need to make it thorough in, in such a way that this whenever I connect to my phone it will work exactly. And also here the laptop will only help us, only help us, help, only help us to source. power. It just brings up this uh -huh. source, yes. Okay. So if I had another external source, maybe let's say there is a charger sort of that was meant to be here, I would have powered this Arduino board from here and then disconnect this and send the messages and it will all reply the same. Okay. So give this knowledge. Um, actually, one time when I was sitting on the dormitory and I just saw the uh, there is the technician mm -hmm. at our school here always complains of people switching on switching off lights telling them that they always increase electrical bills the same applies to our headmaster here always tells us or he always emphasizes us to switch off um, the bulbs so as to minimize the school's electrical bills but when I tried to follow up make a follow up why do people do not switch off those bulbs Everyone feels lazy and uh, more so tired to go and switch off all the lights. So I tried to think and come up with a simple solution that will make anyone, anyone, maybe the headmaster or the uh, electrical technician, to switch off all the bulbs um, yeah, in a simple way, in a simple way, yes, without any much disturbance. So it means if, if you switch off using your phone, yes. can 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 I switch on just manually? Yes. Yeah. Okay, it could, maybe it could be a good system in such a way that you can switch off. If well, someone wants to light on, maybe go specifically. Mm. I want this one to switch on. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's mm. good.